Hey, good morning. So you guys want to get started, right? Um, being healthier and in the process of getting healthy, you wind up losing like a lot of weight. Let's make it simple. Let's, um, let's take away a couple things and then we'll add some things back. So first, let's get rid of sugar, all of it, everything. Um, and you can do this at your leisure. So try to work on one thing at a time, set a goal maybe for a week. You know, this day I'm going to drink this much sugar or eat this much sugar. And that's all added sugars in all your packages, okay? So if it tries to hide it like natural flavors or modified food starch or maltodextrin or some of these other names, then you got to get rid of that, right? So we're going to get rid of sugar. Um, one fun way, if you like drinking soda pop, go ahead. But you know what? Buy mineral water. Fill the soda pop halfway up and then fill the rest with mineral water. Now you've cut your sugar in half. And then little by little you can actually wean off that. That's a method Dr. Barry uses. All right, so sugar. Next, we'll go ahead and let's just get rid of seed oils. Um, normally I put that third, but let's just get rid of it. That you can stop immediately. So um, that would be anything that looks kind of yellow to clear in a bottle that you use to fry. <clears throat> so we're going to stick with olive oil, extra virgin. We're going to stick with butter and lard if you can get it, like if it comes off bacon or whatever, right? But those bottles, corn oil, I'll, I'll mention um, vegetable oil, soy oil, um, and some brand names. There's canola, there's nutrioli, there's Crisco. You've got to get rid of it. It's just really, really poisonous. Um, actually... Just throw it in the dumpster. Don't even give that away. If you want to give your sugar away, I uh, guess some people don't have a problem with it too much, especially if they're young. But those oils, toss them. They're absolute poisons. We used to use them in motors um, before we started using, uh, you know, motor oil out of the ground. We used to actually grind seeds up and use that. Third thing you want to get rid of is grains. Yeah, I know. Bread, tortillas. Oh, that's a tough one. But, uh, Get rid of it, all right? So if you can do one a week for three weeks, now you're on your way. It's just, you, but, but now you'll have to start something concurrently, right? So you have to add something and say, well, what, whatever can I eat? Well, here's the first rule. When, when I tell you the food you can eat, when you eat, you have to eat till you're full. Yay, you're not hungry anymore. You're not going to count calories, so don't worry about it, all right? You're not going to count macros. You don't care about fats, proteins and uh, carbohydrates, you don't care. You're just gonna eat till you're full and then stop. Put whatever's left away and save it for later. And, and then you're not going to eat when you're not hungry. No snacking, you don't need it. Look, if you eat enough, whenever you eat, you will be full, trust me. You're not gonna feel like eating anything. No, you're like, oh, but I really need it. Uh -huh. That's an addiction. That's what I'm telling you. <clears throat> if you really, really think you're full, think of the greasiest, sloppiest, beef-fatted rib just oozing with just grease. Now, if you really feel like eating that, you're hungry. If not, it's, it's unfortunately a, uh, it's, it's an addiction to whatever it is that you, your brain senses that you needed. It's, it's a real drug. Sugar and grains are real drugs. All right, so again, eat until you're full, and then don't eat when you're not hungry. So what can I eat? Uh, meat, eggs, cheese, yogurt, if it's plain. Um, no sugar added, of course. That's what I eat. A um, little bit of nuts, a little bit of fruit. That is in the sense of berries, like strawberries, blueberries. And that's it. So you could eat chicken, pork, beef, lamb, um, fish, eggs, cheese. I mean, think of everything you eat anyway that's like the most, uh, bacon. Think of the most delicious stuff you get to eat anyway. What are you going to have for breakfast? Okay, I'm going to have a bacon and cheese omelet, and maybe two or three, depending on how hungry I am, right? And then for dinner, a um, couple of double cheeseburgers with some bacon on them, right? <clears throat> um, no sauces. You dispense with those because they all have sugar on them. And then uh, if you if you need a supper after that, which you probably won't, 
Um, you know, go ahead and grab a couple of chicken wings or whatever. So, anyway, that's what you do. So get rid of sugar, get rid of grains, get rid of seed oils. And then you want to uh, get rid of all refined foods. That would be anything in a package. I mentioned the packages. Um, so if God didn't, if God didn't wrap it, you don't need it. I personally don't eat fruits. I don't eat a whole lot of salads. Uh, I'll eat a salad here and there, but um, it's not a staple. And then uh, go ahead and eat all the meats and eggs and cheese you want. And that's just about do it. Yeah. Uh, what do I weigh? I don't know what I weigh. I normally weigh myself Fridays, but it's not a good metric anymore. Um, I think by now I'm pretty much around 0 0.5 height to weight ratio. That's a super good way of finding out if you're healthy. And I'm really close. As a matter of fact, I'm close as I care to get. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing this because this, this works. I feel great doing it. I'm always full. Always full. I'm like full. It's like, you want to go out and eat? I'm full. Yeah, but we're going to. I'm full. Okay, so uh, eat your full, don't eat when you're not hungry, and that's it. Okay, that's what I did. Now, you go do the same, or you can do the five-second hacks or whatever, which don't work. But, hey, how they can. So we'll talk soon. Bye.